Hi everybody, I'm Lee of CJ Drill, and I gotta tell you, I wanna show you how to use a tool today called a pocket jig. Now the thing about a pocket jig is, maybe you've never seen this tool, but if you have furniture in your home, chances are it was made with the aid of a pocket jig. It creates a recessed opening and allows you to place screws and create a very, just a rock solid joint. I gotta tell you, it is a great way to bring together two pieces of wood because here's the thing. Unlike using a biscuit joiner, you gotta worry about the biscuits, you gotta worry about the glue, then you gotta clamp it and wait for the glue to dry. When you use a pocket jig, you can use it in combination with glue. But I gotta tell you, I've made this joint without any glue and it is rock solid. And that's why this is a very, very popular way today to build furniture. And I'm gonna show you how to use one. Now, I'll tell you, it looks more complicated than it is because the truth is, this is a very simple tool to use. So let's go through the features first so I can show you how easy this thing is to set up, okay? This clamps the wood against the jig. So I place a piece of wood here and you just clamp it in place. It, it clamps so that you can drill through it without, it without it moving, okay? And it adjusts to accommodate larger pieces of stock. So what we have here is we have our stock is 3 quarters inch in thickness. It's securely clamped into the jig itself. Now, if you look here, if you can get in close, you have two ports. But on the side panel here, you have a series of numbers. This first port here is for stock that's a half inch, three quarters inch, and one inch in thickness. The second port here, it's for stock that's a more than an inch, one and a quarter inch, one and a half inch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wood out of the jig like so. And this will give you a good idea of how it actually works. This is our step bit here. And if you notice, it's got a thick barrel, and then at the end, it's got a smaller drill barrel. Well, this makes the hole in the wood where you can guide the screw through. Just think of it as a pilot hole maker. And this thicker barrel, that creates the pocket. See this collar here? Well, you can adjust it. And what you do is you take an Allen wrench and you insert it into that collar screw. And you untighten it. And then you're able to slide the collar up and down. And that's what allows you to set the depth of the collar. See, right now it's touching the jig itself. Well, I want to suspend it a little bit. I want it off, I want it off that jig, and the collar's gonna help me do that. So what I do is I slowly lift up on the bit, so now it's not resting against the jig itself. So now I'm gonna tighten the collar. And now it's set. So here are the two pieces of wood we're gonna attach like so. Now you only have to put pockets in one piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this piece of wood squarely in the jig and now I'm going to close the handle. That's going to act as a vise and it's going to hold the piece of wood securely in. Now you want to wear safety glasses when you do this. I'm going to take my step bit, I'm going to put it in my, my drill because you're going to need a drill to do this. So we're going to insert it in that first now I'm just going to press down and pull the trigger. Here we go. I've allowed the collar to stop it. That's when I know that I've gone as far as I'm going to go. And I'm going to pull up on the drill. Now I'm also going to repeat the process here. going to take it out of the jig and there's your two pockets. Okay, so I've got my wood. I'm going to place it. I've got a two by four and I've got it braced, okay? I'm going to slide my piece up against that two by four and then I'm going to take the piece with the pockets and I'm going to rest that on top. Now, 
It's best if you use glue, but we're not going to use glue today, okay? I'm just going to place it there. Now, you want to replace that step bit with a Phillips bit, okay? I'm going to take a screw, and I'm going to insert it, actually. I'm just going to insert it like so. Okay, so here we go. And you want to hold the piece firmly and then drive the screw. Now I'm going to drive the second screw. I'm just going to place the screw inside because, I don't know, can you get in close? Inside the pocket is the pilot hole. And we're just going to insert the screw. Now I'm going to drill it into place. And that's it. Look at that joint. I can't move it. Can you believe how easy it is? I wasn't kidding you when I said, ah, it's not that complicated. And that's why it's so common in building furniture today, because it just makes a superior joint. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.